Hello, hello YouTube. In this video, I thought I would make a kind of skin guide for those of you who are new to CS and just want to get a couple of nice skins for a quite cheap price. So, I thought I would make a loadout video with a budget of under 10 euro. And I have picked one skin for every weapon, so including like the P2000 and the CC Alto for, and those that are, that aren't, yeah, you can choose between what you want to play with. So yeah, let's hop right into the skins. So I thought we, we would start with the pistols. And for the USP, I've chosen the USP Guardian. Uh, and this this is the field tested one. And it sells for around 1.30 1, euro. So it's quite an expensive one for this loadout, but I think it's worth it. So for the substitute, the P2000, I've chosen the Turf. I've gone with a bit more, with, with a bit cheaper one, because yeah, I feel like there's not really many playing with the P P2000 than the USP. The the USP is more popular, I would say. So so for the dual breathers, I've chosen the ventilators. Now this I, I would say is quite a bit of value for the for the price. I think these look quite good, and the price is as low as 0.17 euro. Oh yeah, and this is the minimal wear ones. For the P250, I've chosen the P250 Valance field tested. I've always thought that this skin is quite underrated. I think it's quite a good looking skin, especially for its price. It's only 0 0.16 euro for the field tested ones. For the 5.7, I've gone with the Flame Test Factor New, and I, I, I've liked this skin for a very long time. I mean. For for its 0 0.23 euro, which is the, the its price by the way, it's quite a good looking skin in my opinion. It's it's like a deagle place, but for a 5.7. And speaking of the desert eagle, I've chosen the the, the desert eagle oxide blaze field tested. You could if you if you have the opportunity, I would recommend you to get this in a a bit higher quality, like minimal wear effect in you, because this in my opinion doesn't look good. And also you could just try to get a better float, but yeah, I'd recommend buying it in minimal wear if you have the opportunity. And for the Glock, I've also chosen the Oxide Blaze, uh, the uh, minimal wear one. And I think, yeah, you might have seen in one of my earlier videos, I, I, I actually used this, or the Star Trek one. I think this looks quite good for, for, the, for its price. Since it only sells for 0 0.30 euro, I think it's, it's very good. And now for the Tech 9. I, I personally don't really like this skin, but it's, it's quite cheap and I yeah, I can see why people, some people might like this because of this, and I, yeah, that's really the only thing good about this skin, but, yeah, it's, it's okay, I would say, but I'd, re I'd recommend you to buy um, a different Tech 9 skin. And moving on to the SMGs then, we have the MAC-10 Oceanic field tested. This is, this sells for 0 0.1 euro, so very cheap and I think just very price worthy, not much else to say about it. And for the MP5, uh, if you don't already have the lab rats for if you didn't complete the the challenges for when when this was offered for free i'd recommend you buying it uh, in the minimal wear since it's only what, 17 cents so it's very good and now for the ump i chose the uh, ump 45 moonrise field tested again same with the uh, same as the deagle one i'd recommend you to get this in minimal wear or fracture new but in field tested it's only 30 36 cents so it's pretty good for its price. And for the P90, uh, I've chosen the Traction field tested. Yeah, this is an all-around good-looking skin, I would say. And now for the PP Bison. I don't really think many people use this, the PP Bison, but yeah. I included it anyway, but I chose one of the cheaper skins. Uh, it's only 11 cents, but it's, yeah, it's okay. And the MP9, I recommend you to get the MP9 capillary field tested. It's 12 cents, uh, but if you want to put a little bit more money into it, uh, you could buy a sticker that's called CS on the mind uh, and put it here. Uh, I can put a picture up on screen to show how it looks like. Um, and that makes it look quite cool. So uh, if you want to do that, you can do it, but it's quite cool without a sticker as well. And for the MP9, I chose the Urban Hazard Factor New. This is also quite a cheap skin. It's 21 cents, but yeah, it's quite good. Nothing else to say about it, really. Moving on to the rifles, then. I've, uh, for the Galil, I've picked out the uh, Galil AR Firefight field tested. Yeah, this is quite. It doesn't really matter which quality you get. You get it in. Like this part will al will always be quite clean, but it's stuff like this you might want to get rid of. So 
if you want if you have the opportunity buy it in higher tiers but um, if I field test that looks quite good as well now moving on to the AK then um, I picked out the uncharted one uh, minimum wear now I personally don't really like the skin that much but yeah it's it's the cheapest AK that looks somewhat okay so yeah if you want to buy it you can buy it but if you if you want to buy other stuff other ones like the emerald pine stripe I'd recommend buying if you have the um, if you have a bit more money to spend but if you don't this is this is a this is the way to go I'd say now moving on to the uh, scout then uh, I've picked up the uh, the abyss battles card this is one one of the skins that changes uh, the colors or pattern depending on which quality it is so if you want to get it more blue you can pick it uh, you can buy a uh, like a field tester or a minimal wear one but a battle card I think looks quite quite good as well with the white and stuff and this sells for uh, around 30 cents on the market and the SG then I've picked out the Aloha uh, it's minimal wear uh, but yeah I, I don't personally think this looks amazing if you I'd say if you have the opportunity again to put in a, a bit more money to buy some more expensive skins, I'd, I'd say maybe the Phantom or the Pulse or, uh, looks better, but this one is quite good for its price. And moving on to the Op then, uh, I've picked a quite quite expensive one because I, f I feel like everybody wants an expensive Op skin, right? Um, so uh, I've picked the Op Paw, uh, yeah, it looks quite good, but it, you can also for about the same price, you can uh, buy the op Phobos or the or a, a better quality op Worm God. But I think this looks uh, this is one of the better cheaper ops, and this sells for just over two euros. And the auto sniper for the T side, I'd recommend the Hunter. Uh, it's quite clean, uh, actually. I like I, I really like this one, <laughs> so I I don't see any point in investing in a uh, more expensive one because this is really good looking and, if, and this isn't the main one wear one and, and it's only cost it only costs for 0 0.11 euro it's pretty good and for the farmers I've, put, I've chosen the decommissioned now this actually looks quite good I don't know what it, what it reminds me of but it's yeah it looks quite good uh, and it's the main one wear one and it sells for around 0 0.15 euros now moving on to the M4, but for the M4A1, uh, uh, I would recommend the flashback field tested. You could also put a little bit more money into it and get uh, the min minimal wear one. But personally, I don't think it changes that much from field tested to minimal wear. Maybe a bit around here, but it's not really. It's not something you you notice when you're playing with it. And for the M4A4, I've gone with the magnesium. Uh, now this is the field tested one and it sells for around or just over 30 cents but if you want to get an, uh, get it in minimal wear the min minimal wear ones is 65 cents so you can choose whatever you want and for the aug i've gone with the cheek triqua but yeah this is the the only cheap aug that i think look fairly decent you know this it's it's not the best in the world but it's it's okay for its price and it's it's definitely better than the other options for in this in this price class it costs 10 cents and it's yeah it's okay now for the scar i've gone with the blueprint uh, it's the minimal wear one and it sells for 10 cents so if you want to use it you can use it if you want to use another skin you can you can do that moving on to the um, shotguns and lmgs uh, you starting with the nova uh, I've gone with the candy apple. Now, no one really uses the shotguns, or <laughs> a few people in low ranks, in my experience. But yeah, if you want to buy a skin for it, you can you can buy the candy apple. It's only ten cents in my minimal wear. So. Now, for the auto shotgun, I've gone with the oxide blaze, same as the uh, deagle and the Glock. But yeah, I think this concept uh, I really like. I don't know why, but yeah, it, it, I like it. Now for the Mag 7, I've gone with the Heaven Guard, and th this is the field tested one. It sells for 13 cents, but I strongly recommend you go for the higher quality for the for the minimal wear or the fact you need because 
yeah, it looks looks it looks so much better. You get none of these scrapes. So if you had the opportunity, go for it. Oh, and moving on to this to the weapon that no one likes, <laughs> the M249. Yeah, the system lock field tested. Sells for just over 10 cents. Yeah. And moving on to the classic, the Negev. Uh, yeah, the terrain skin looks okay. It sells for just over 10 cents, like many other skins. Yeah, it's okay. And for the sort of, I recommend getting the or 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 fuck. It's field tested and it's yeah, 12 cents. Get if you get it if you want. So yeah, there you have it. That was one skin for every weapon and its price and its quality. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and comment and comment on what you what you thought of it and if you'd like to see more of this kind of content. And I thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Goodbye.